My name's Luke. And I'm Cam. Welcome to another edition of Tribe TV. Let's check it out. My life be like. Wow. Yeah. My life be like. Reflecting all the things I try my hand at Search for the equation to persuasions I'm used to Find a comfort in the zones of class of bones I get used to A mountain is spontaneous The Lions caught their first win against Discovery this Friday So uh, we had a chance to sit down with Coach Stancil Let's check it out Hey guys, I'm Ben Maya with Tribe TV And I'm here with Coach Stancil We got a couple questions So the first one was How does it feel to get that first win under your belt? It feels good, uh, especially when you, you guys work really hard It feels really good to get the first win on our belt all right, and how have you guys used non-region games to learn and go into region play? Uh, you know, our four non-region games were tough region games. Uh, we played four teams that probably are in the top ten in the state in their classification. Uh, so, you know, playing tough competition gets you ready for your tough region schedule. So who are some of the notable performances on Friday night against Discovery in the 17-0 win? Uh, I have to give props to uh, Jamari Jackson, who, who ran the football really hard, and the offensive line did a great job uh, the second half, and the entire defense did a great job the whole game, keeping us in the game uh, until we got going offensively. All right, and what are your expectations going into the next few region games? Just for us to continue to get better and better each day. Uh, the kids are working hard, and, and the coaches are working hard, and, and, and we're all committed to each other to make sure we're doing the right thing. and, and and keep working hard to get better. All right, thank you, Coach. You're welcome. Now let's send it to Ben and Carson with a video on college football. Welcome to our Week 5 College Football Preview. I'm Ben. And I'm Carson. And each of us will present our individual analysis of the games and share our predictions. Our first matchup is number 5 USC taking on number 16 Washington State. It's Friday night, and USC, even early in the season, has won tough matchups against Stanford and Texas. And they're 4-0 on the season. I think USC will be victorious on the back of running back Ronald Jones the second. I like Washington State quarterback Luke Falk to hang tough in this matchup, but this will be Sam Darnold's breakout game after struggling through the first four weeks. And Washington State's defense has a reputation of being a weak link. Give me USC with the final score of 27-17. Our next matchup is number 24 Mississippi State versus number 13 Auburn. I feel like both of these teams are pretty evenly matched, but I think it will be hard for Mississippi State to get the win coming off of a loss against Georgia and heading on the road to Auburn. I think Auburn's got them in this one. Auburn's got a top-notch defense to go along with, with an offense that's finally hitting its stride with a lopsided win against Missouri last week. I agree with you, Carson, that Mississippi State won't be able to bounce back from that loss at Georgia. Auburn's defense will hold off Nick, Nick Fitzgerald and Coach Dan Mullen for a 17-14 win at home. Our next matchup is number 7 Georgia versus the Tennessee Volunteers. Georgia is on fire after routing Mississippi State between the hedges. I think Georgia will avoid the upset in this one. As a Georgia fan, I've always been nervous about playing in Knoxville, but not this season. Georgia wins big 34-14 on the road, and Butch Jones will be out of Rocky Top by Monday. Now, it's a new segment where each of us will present our upset of the week. My personal upset is Duke over Miami. I think that Duke is better than most people realize, and I think they have the offensive weapons in Daniel Jones and Sean Wilson to win the Coastal Conference and go to the ACC Championship. I like Duke over Miami. My pick for upset of the week is Iowa State over the Texas Longhorns in Ames, Iowa. I don't think Texas has recovered from those early losses against Maryland and the heartbreaker at USC. The Cyclones will steal one from Tom Hervin in Texas as Iowa State pulls off a thriller by the score of 35-31. And now we have the matchup of the week. Number two Clemson versus number 13 Virginia Tech. I think Clemson's D-line is too powerful for Virginia Tech's offensive line, or any offensive line for that matter. Also with the arsenal of weapons in both the passing game like Deion Kane and Hunter Renfro, and Tavian Feaster and freshman Travis Etienne in the running game. I like Clemson for this one. As, mu as much as it hurts for me, I have to agree with Carson on this one. Clemson has been lights out this season. Kelly Bryant is living up to the hype and then some. And I just don't see Virginia Tech slowing down that offense, even though the Hokies are playing at home. Look for Clemson to make another statement win by a score of 31-21. And that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. The Lions have a bye week this Friday, and then they get back to it next Friday against Mountain View. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Luke. And I'm Cam. Have a great day, Rich.